Welcome to video 8, the last one in this series of how to lay out a print book's pages. In this last video, we'll look at how to export the press quality PDF file which will go to the printing company, along with, of course, the press quality PDF of the cover file, which is done separately and covered in the other series, Assemble a Print Book Cover. In short, one of the ways to do it is file export. You can use Adobe PDF presets, but after clicking that, you select the Adobe PDF print option as opposed to the interactive option, so you keep it at print. Then you click Save, and when this dialog box comes up, you might want to put Press Quality, Press Quality Modified. That will be what I've just used before. Now, the marks and bleeds, you don't usually need crop and bleed marks, but if you do, you know where to check them here. There is no bleed in this book, which is the excess or overhang on the page, because we've got no images or coloured shapes that go all the way up to the edges. If we did, we'd have to check this box, Use Document Bleed Settings, which we did for the cover. So in summary, if you're doing the pages for a print book, you can pretty much select Press Quality, accept all the defaults, and hit Export. However, there is one catch that you may come across. I'm just going to cancel this and explain it. Some printing companies will require a bleed, even if you don't need one on the book's pages. If it does, then it's simple to do. Go File, Document Setup, click on Document Setup, and then when you see more options on the right hand side here, just click and you'll see, ah, there's the bleed. Put in the bleed if you need an extra three millimeters of bleed. Click the link icon and it will appear all around the document. And of course, then when you go to export it, you will need, I'm going to re-save it there, you will need to include use document bleed settings there. But I'm not going to include them because we don't need them for this book. I just put them in there for the hell of it. If you'd like to get rid of that bleed and save it how you were intending to save it, just click Cancel there, go back to File and Document Setup, where it says Bleed, make it zero, click on the link icon, yep, and OK. You've got rid of that bleed, so you can go ahead with File, Export, there, Press Quality, Marks and Bleeds, None, and hit Export. Clicking down below, there it is. There is the Press Quality PDF. I'll double click to open it. Have a quick flick through it. There it is. I'm going to just make that a little bit smaller so it fits in the window a bit better as we click through. There are the pages. Now don't worry that they're one underneath each other. Because you save them in the Facing Pages format, the printing company will sort all these out, so don't be concerned. This is how they're meant to look, and as you can see as we're going through, this will go all the way through to page 26, and remember that we're adding six preliminary pages to that, so we end up with 32. That may be the size of your book, or it may be 320. There we have it. We've made a press quality PDF of a print book's pages, and they're ready to be uploaded to a print-on-demand company or sent to a local printer. Thank you for watching, and please remember to comment, like, or subscribe if you'd like to view more videos about indie book publishing.